my opinion, a trip to Cairns just isn't complete without taking this drive. You must experience one of Australia's most scenic driving routes known as the Great Barrier Reef Drive from Cairns to Cape Tribulation. It is approximately 140 kilometres and although it may take you about three hours to drive, there is plenty of places where you'll want to stop and explore. Starting from Cairns, follow the scenic Captain Cook Highway. This drive takes you on an incredible coastal road and crosses the Daintree River north to where the rainforest meets the reef. It's definitely possible to take in the scenic drive and explore the highlights in a single day. Some of my favourites which I've featured in these highlights are Ellis Beach, which camping is available, the Thala Resorts Palm Tree Road, Rex Lookout, the Mowbray River footbridge where you may see a crocodile or two, or maybe three like I did, Port Douglas, Mossman Gorge, the Daintree Ferry, Mount Alexandra Lookout and Cape Tribulation Beach. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining another vlog. Uh, you would have just seen all the beautiful coastal shots of what you can do from Cairns to Cape Tribulation. Uh, we are currently in the Daintree Rainforest on our way all the way up to Cape York. Uh, today's plan to get to Cooktown. Uh, I'm joined by Alex. Alex Hi. is currently going solo all around Australia in her Missing X Trail. Missing X Trail. So she's got a good little setup. Make sure you go over to Instagram and check it out. Uh, we are currently at Alexander Headlands. From the Alexandra Lookout, you can see where the rainforest meets the reef. These are considered two of the world's natural wonders. Don't forget to check out Emerging Creek. I've been told that there's crocodiles downstream, but apparently they don't like crossing the road. So go and swim in the water holes upstream. So we are currently on the Bloomsfield track, which is just north of Cape Tribulation. This is the furthest I've been uh, in the Daintree. So I'm very excited uh, to see what is to come. We just went up, oh, here we go, very steep. Let's get a bit of a roll up. The highlight panel is so good. So far we've done two river crossings which haven't been super deep uh, and it's all been pretty paved, uh, not too many deep potholes, so, so far so good. Wadju Wadju community. Uh, there's a river as you drive out or into it. Uh, huge crocodiles. Alex hasn't seen crocodiles her whole trip. She's got the drone up, <laughs> losing her mind. They're big ones up here. There's a couple of them along the bank as well. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, this is nuts. Oh wow. You'll see the drone footage soon. <laughs> Look at the fish. <laughs> Tropical North Queensland is crocodile country, so it's important to be croc wise regardless of where you are travelling in the region. The saying goes, never smile at a crocodile, but it's pretty hard to wipe the smile off your face when you see these evaders of evolution, as they are as fascinating as they are ferocious and well worth safely observing on your next holiday. After all, crocodilians are one of only a few animals left on earth who have lived to tell the tale of the dinosaur extinction. Just like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, the historic Lion's Den Hotel and Pub is located at the end of the Bloomsfield track, waiting to crack open a cold one. The pub also offers great tucker, live music on Sundays, and there's campgrounds on site. gosh such a big day of adventuring up from Cairns all the way to Cooktown we made it uh, I reckon I could spend a couple of weeks just doing that section uh, if you want to check out what to do I have some other vlogs um, that I did a couple of years ago uh, Mason's Creek there's Cape Tribulation Beach um, Cowie Beach Cow Bay like so many places you can stay in there and beautiful um, Cape Tribulation Camp is also really good to stay at it's on the beach so like 
beautiful. I love it up here. Um, we made it to camp, typical adventure style. I didn't book anywhere to camp tonight. So we've come out a little bit endeavor, uh, $25 for the night. You get a little campfire. As I was saying, we've got a little campfire, um, beautiful bathrooms. There's like a little garden inside the bathrooms. Hot showers done by a fire outside. Alex is just setting up double rooftops. This is her first time setting up because I set it up for her last night. So we'll see how she goes. Pretty simple. Hey, Alex. So easy. <laughs> how tall are you? She has to jump on the back tire to get up there. That's so funny. All right, well, that's it for day one. Good morning, day two on the road. Uh, Endeavour River camp was lovely last night. There are a heap of mosquitoes around, so make sure you pack the Bushmans. Uh, today is a massive day of driving. Uh, yesterday we got a little bit distracted through the Daintree. There is so much that you can do up through there. Um, so we are backtracking a little bit and we're going to go to Trevithan Falls, I think it's called. Uh, and then we are punching it as far as we can get on that red dirt today, trying to get up to the tip. <laughs> Bye. So these are the beautiful bathrooms I was talking about and there's a little rainforest surprise in each side for when you get in the bathroom. It's actually so nice and there's a little laundry, um, laundry room and over here is the little kitchen. There isn't any Wi-Fi here, no reception. Uh, so you're totally secluded. It's a nice spot. There's people here who've been camped here since June. So they've got it pretty good up here in Cooktown. Nice little farm stay. Uh, the people were so lovely at reception as well. Fitted us in very last minute. Uh, bring cash, no FPOS. So $25 unpowered sites. Walking down to the river with a fishing rod this morning. So it could be some good fishing around here. Uh, they've got the donkey. Love it. Hot showers. They're actually so hot. Uh, firewood on site, $10 a bag, cash only as well. That's about it, let's hit the road. And one more thing I forgot. Uh, I bet you're all asking, wondering where the FJ is. The FJ is my daily, this is my work car. So Overland are actually gonna try and be based up here for six months next year and offer Cape trips uh, for people to hire from Cairns. So I'm up here just creating content with them. I thought, why the hell not? bloody vlog the trip as well um so yeah the fj's at home still love it 25 kilometers south of cooktown you'll come across an imposing mountain range of massive granite boulders it's called black mountain it's home to unique wildlife and rich in aboriginal culture all right alex's first water crossing ah! <laughs> here we go oh we're in now Well done. <laughs> Just that little bit off the beaten path, you'll find Trevithan Falls, which is a stunning waterfall just south of Cooktown. This moss covered cascade is a fantastic place to swim in and is a must visit on any four wheel drive trip to Cooktown or the tip of Australia. cook down and hit the road north you'll be greeted by the world's third longest land-based mountain range the great dividing range which actually starts in north queensland quick little stop off at the han river roadhouse there's petrol telephone amenities lunchtime and then we're hitting the road again putting down some k's today there's an emu here 
Well, unfortunately, we missed out on seeing Aussie the Emu wandering around Han River Roadhouse, but I just have to come back and meet him. Apparently, he has a bit of a foot fetish. Loves to chase after pretty girls' feet. That's what old mate said anyway. <laughs> Time to hit the road. Hello, Mimis. <laughs> Hello, diary entry log of 2 p.m. When did we start this? 10.30? 10, yeah. Uh, we're still on the Peninsula Development Road and it's actually, we probably had a little bit of corrugation but nothing that we needed to air down for and we're back on bitumen. Pretty good drive so far. I'm impressed. So we just arrived in Cohen and we ended up with half a tank of petrol from Cairns to Cohen here. Uh, stopped in, diesel was $2.50 and I got 78 litres. Uh, this is the only fuel station in town because this one doesn't have any diesel. Did a little general store, back in the car, ready to go. just arrived at Bromwell Station. Uh, it's the tourist park, not the roadhouse down the road. Uh, set up our double rooftop campers and put some dinner on. This is our little setup over here. What's on the menu tonight, Chef? Uh, we have chicken skewers with some. Yum. Lots of sauces. And then we're gonna go over to the bar and have some happy hour drinks. <laughs> Camping was $30 here for the night. So just a side note, there is dust everywhere. Like the canopy was closed and there is dust. Look at this, that was inside the car. It's inside our rooftops. Oh, who's the goose that has to clean the car next week? <laughs> this one. Oh well, all part of the adventure. <laughs> There's so much room here in this tourist park. We just rocked up, we didn't book. Uh, hot showers, bathrooms, laundry. Apparently there's a comedy night as well. I think we're set. I might stay here for a couple of days. There you go. I reckon it'd be rude not to. Cheers. <laughs> well, good morning from Bramwell Station. Last night's comedy night was pretty all right. Some old school jokes. Now we've got our breakfast on the go. Uh, so Overlander provide kitchen equipment, kettle. Um, I just bought some like sauces and cinnamon and oats and stuff. But other than that, they've got like wine glasses and cheese boards and bowls, everything you need. Double fridge. I've got one set as the fridge, one set as the freezer. And we're pretty set, ready for a big day at Fruit Bat Falls. So just had a chat to some oldies around the park and they recommended that we put our tyre pressures down to about 26, 28. Uh, we're hitting Elliott Falls and apparently the road from up here gets a bit more gnarly than it was yesterday. So just airing down, checking the tyres, check the water, everything's packed up, ready for a big day of hitting the telecrack. Just down the road we found Bramwell Junction and we ran into some fellow Overlander adventurers. The old telly track officially starts just left of the roadhouse here.
Located off the Telly Track in the Jardine River National Park, Fruitbat Falls is a fantastic place to refresh and wash off the dust during your trip to the tip. This broad natural weir is croc free and is a few kilometres from the junction of the Southern Bypass Road and Old Telegraph Track. two waterfalls. There are campsites available and down further you'll find Twin Falls which is a series of rock pools and cascades all linked by tracks and broadwalks close to the nearby Elliott Falls. massive day I am so waterlogged uh, we've just set up camp by Sam's Creek absolutely beautiful if you don't have any four-wheel drive experience do not cross the river uh, it is quite gnarly I had some guidance from some people um, on the other side that had done it a couple of times the adrenaline was going it was very exciting I uh, didn't catch it on camera though only on our iPhones because it all just happened so quick um, but yeah, I would probably just go to Fruit Bat and uh, Elliott Falls, turn around, bypass, go back on the peninsula, uh, 
development road. So this is our camp for the night. And in the morning, I'm going to show you. Oh, that is my face. Oh, is that zoomed in? <laughs> As I was saying, this is our camp for the night. Uh, to set up our double rooftops. And we're gonna have a cheese platter down by the beautiful creek. I might show you it in the morning because when that light hits, it is crystal clear and there is a little waterfall with a rope swing and little campfire area. So if you're willing, there is a couple of chicken tracks, but they are still quite gnarly. So if you're willing to come up this far, it's a beautiful little spot. Good morning from day four, where we're not really sure where the dirt finishes and the tan line starts. So we're gonna head down to Sam's Creek and have a quick shower swim in the little waterfall there. Super cute little um, rope swing you can jump off the waterfall with. Everything is covered in red dirt. I don't know how I'm ever gonna get this car clean again, but fingers crossed, wish me luck. Big day, um, heading up to Mistake Creek, but doing the chicken track off onto the um, Peninsula, Peninsula Development Road again. Ready, Alex? Ready. She's getting better at shutting it. Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> With all the excitement of doing our first big four-wheel driving of the telly track, uh, we forgot to film ourselves on the big camera for YouTube, uh, but luckily there was a car going through Sam's Creek the next morning, so this is how he did it. If you are not comfortable with four-wheel driving or going through water, you can turn around from Fruit Bat and head out of the telly track and back onto the bypass roads. Five, 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 five. Around most of the challenging parts of the old telegraph track, you will find these side tracks called chicken tracks, which are an easier option to doing the harder stuff, but they are still off-roading and still challenging. Leaving the old telegraph track, you'll hit the red dirt for another couple of hours drive north to a little town called Bumaga. Here is where you'll find the Jardine River Barge, and that will be your final leg of your tip trip. The barge costs $110 for a single car to go over. In that fee though is your return ticket, your parks permit, and also your camping. So you can wild camp in the area of the tip. And you can't come all the way to the tip without stopping in at the iconic crook tent for some unique merch. These are essential. Welcome to Pajinka, or more commonly known as the Tip Cape York. The Cape York Tip is the most northern point of the Australian continent. There are two walks that you can do to get to the Tip. Uh, one is 400 meters and one's about 600 meters. One, the lower one goes along the beach at low tide and the higher one goes up and over the hill, quite windy, but there is a really cool compass at the top.
what an amazing experience and achievement it is to make it all the way to the tip of Australia and stand at this iconic sign. You've got to come back with me. You've got to go to Cairns. So part two is coming very soon. What was your favourite part of the trip? Uh, favourite part was probably some of those old drives. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I can't wait to bring the FJ up here and do the whole telly track. Watch out. The girls are coming for the 